Okay, this is my net logo model for the gender and technology class. And what I'm doing here is representing sex, gender, and sexuality through using different colors. So I'm using color to represent these as spectrums through uh, RGB values. Each color has a unique RGB value, which stands for red, green, and blue and those can go from the number 0 to 255. So I'm using sex, red is representing sex, green is representing gender, and blue is representing sexuality. So first we're going to turn off all these switches so we're not going to have a spectrum for any of these and we're going to leave it uh, realistic for now. I'll explain what that means later. And we're going to um, set up and you can alter the population size, make it uh, more people, fewer people, whatever. I like to keep it uh, a little more than halfway so you can see how many people there are. Um, so here you can see there are four distinct colors of people. So since all the spectrums are off, this represents the binary. So we can only have male or female for sex, masculine or feminine for gender, and gay or straight for sexuality. And if you're a male, you must be masculine, and if you're a female, you must be feminine. So really, we only have four options. You can be a male who's gay or straight, or a female who's gay or straight. And that's how we came up with these four colors. But the colors themselves aren't random. I chose them through the RGB values. So, for example, for sex, which is the, the red, the R value, um, if you're male, you are 0, and if you're female, you are 255. So without a spectrum, you can't be any number in between. You can only be the 0 or the 255. So let's turn on this sex spectrum and see what happens. So now there are people who are different shades of red throughout, and that represents people who are intersex. Uh, now you can see not everyone is intersex because the realistic button is still on. So in the real world, not everyone is intersex. So we still have uh, the binary colors of people. We're just adding people on a spectrum who are now intersex. If we turn this spectrum off and turn on the gender spectrum, we go to setup. Now we have green. So now we have people who are genderqueer and uh, there are different shades of green. Um, but still realistic is on, so we have uh, the original colors too. And if we turn off the spectrum, turn on sexuality, we have people who are bisexual. Now this is a little harder to see because um, it's the color blue, but you can still see there are darker blues and lighter blues, so that just, that's the spectrum of sexuality. And we can turn on more than one, so let's say we have uh, intersex and bisexual. And there are people who are shades of red and shades of blue, and we could uh, turn on the sex spectrum and the gender spectrum, see what that looks like. Now we have people who are shades of red and shades of green. If we turn on everything, uh, we can see um, we still have the binary colors, but then we have people who are shades of green, uh, some shades of blue, and shades of red. So we have uh, the whole spectrum on. Uh, but still, since I have this realistic um, check on, since it's on, not everyone is going to be on the sex spectrum, or the gender spectrum, or the sexuality spectrum. Uh, it's only about 20% of these people who fit into any of uh, these categories of the spectrum. So let's turn everything off, and then we'll turn off realistic. So again, this looks just like it did in the beginning, uh, the four distinct colors, but if we turn on the sex spectrum, because this isn't realistic, everyone is on a sex spectrum. So everyone is in some way intersex. But the, the red values which control sex are random. So not necessarily everyone is intersex. There can be people who are 0 or 255. Uh, so there are some darker and lighter shades. But you can see that everyone is uh, in some way on this spectrum. So we can turn that off, turn on the gender spectrum. Now everyone is in some way a shade of green. And we can do the same for sexuality. Everyone is the shade of blue. And we can combine these spectrums just like we did when it wasn't realistic. So we have uh, sex and sexuality, which is uh, the blue and the red. So we get some sort of purple colors. Um, so these would be people who are uh, intersex and are also bisexual. So they fit on both of those spectrums. So we can turn uh, on sex spectrum on gender spectrum, see what that looks like. We have some red and shades of green. Uh, we can turn off this, turn this on, um, get some shades of purple, 
And if we turn on everything, well, let's first turn on, we'll have gender and sexuality. We didn't see this combination yet. So we have shades of blue and shades of green. Um, and if we turn on everything, you can see that we have more colors than I've ever seen before. And this is with every single person being on uh, the sex spectrum, the gender spectrum, and the sexuality spectrum. And each person here has a unique RGB value, uh, which would represent how uh, male or female they are, if they're intersexed, or how masculine or feminine, or how gay or straight they are, because there are so many different varieties and uh, different uh, ways you can fit on each of the spectrums. Uh, so I hope that by using colors to represent these different spectrums made uh, this concept more clear because for me it, it really helped to have a way to visually understand what it means to actually have these spectrums and I think using colors was a great way to see this.